Hello everyone and welcome back to IMO Reviews. Today we are sadly discussing Imaginary. Imaginary tells the fictional and laughable horror story of an imaginary friend that possesses a child's teddy bear. Yeah, where do we start with this one? We'll try and find some positives. Try being the key word. Ooh, I mean, really, what did this film have going for it? Um, I'm going to be extremely kind and say that there is some mild competence in the camera work and cinematography. It's very mild. And I suppose this is more of an excuse than a positive, but I'm going to cut them some slack because the task itself feels quite impossible. You're being asked to make a very normal looking teddy bear to be scary. They're just not scary. Teddy bears are quite actively the opposite of scary. There's a reason why we give teddy bears to newborn babies. It's because they're fluffy and warm and cozy and nice. Maybe if its eye had fallen off and it had some patches and a chewed up ear, maybe it starts to turn a little bit sinister. But when it really is a perfectly stitched, almost Febreze smelling bear, yeah, we're gonna have a seriously rough time trying to turn that into nightmare fuel. So, that's me trying my absolute hardest with the positives. So let's tear this thing a new arsehole, shall we? Imaginary is the most ironic title for this film because the word that really does spring to mind for this film is unimaginative. It's so bottom of the barrel. It's so we couldn't care less. It is formulaic. It is cliche. It is predictable. It is repetitive. Everything this movie does, you've seen before. Everything. And you've seen it done better. You've seen it done with more of an interesting concept behind it. You've seen it explored better. Because this movie manages to achieve a grand total of fuck all. There's no depth to it. There's no character to it. There's no meaning to it. There's nothing to take from it. The acting is hideous on every level. Everybody in this movie feels like they've been pulled straight out of a daytime soap opera. Awful. 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 With dialogue that only exacerbates just how bad all of this is. Nobody talks like this. These are not real people. Their actions as characters make no sense. It's all so contrived. People not believing other people because if they do, it would actively solve the situation. So we have to have this forced bullshit conflict. Otherwise, the third act can't happen. The set design is so laughably piss weak. It's some of the, some of these locations are head scratching. You don't know where it is, what it is, why it looks like that, why the lighting is this way. It just looks like absolute shit. The scares end up being quite funny because, well, they're not scary at all. They're not even a little bit hair raising. And as I mentioned, as these scares are happening, you already know how they're going to turn out. It really is one of those movies where you just find yourself sitting there going, three, two, one. Right, yep, there it is. It failed to achieve tension. It failed to achieve drama. It failed to achieve suspense. It failed to achieve fear. And despite managing to miss pretty much all of the marks of being a decent horror, it also missed the mark of just being interesting, good, fun, enjoyable. It's not even so bad it's good. It's just so bad. Someone in my screening actively fell asleep. Three or four rows ahead, I couldn't tell who it was and I don't care who it is really. They fell asleep and started snoring about 30 minutes into the movie. And I just didn't even care. I kind of looked at him and respected him. I went, good for you. You're having way more of a better time in your dream than you are watching this movie. You could be having a horrible nightmare where you're being chased by Freddy Krueger and it would still be more enjoyable than watching Imaginary. And the longer it went on, the more and more I just found myself trying to kill time. I went to the toilet twice. Second time, I didn't even really need to go. Hated it. Hated it. Hated it. Hated it. I would need paying a solid amount of money to sit through this misery again. A genuine contender for one of the worst of the year. And I'm going to give Imaginary a 1 out of 10. Thank you for watching this review. Please be sure to hit that like button and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And please do hit the comment section as well. Have you seen Imaginary? What did you think about it? Let me know in the comment section below. 
And of course, if you haven't had enough of this crazy ginger, we well can always click on these suggested videos right here and get yourself lost in an IMO wormhole. But if not, take care. And I look forward to seeing you on the next review.